What's up everyone? Today let's learn how to make a team selector when we press a button. So we're going to go ahead and add three spawn locations. One is going to be for the red team, blue team, and then one is just going to be where everybody spawns in, kind of like the lobby area. We're going to rename the red spawn location to red, untick neutral. And we're going to do the same thing for our blue spawn location. Untick neutral and set the color to whatever you would like. And then for our spawn location itself is the only one that has neutral on. Sweet. Find the teams folder and add three team objects. We're gonna go ahead and untick un auto assignable for the red team and blue team. And then go ahead and make sure you guys set the team color of your teams to whatever you would like. This is going to be displayed in a UI when you are inside of your game. All right, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and create my buttons that I want to press in order to uh, choose which team I would like to be on. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a table with two simple parts. One is red, one is blue. And you guys guessed it, let's go ahead and add proximity prompts inside of the red and the blue. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and edit the action text to join red team. Edit the hold duration to 0.3, max activation distance to five. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for my blue part. So I'm going to go ahead and group these three parts together so that they're just in a model. I'm going to rename them to Team Changer, the red button to red button, the blue part to blue button. And uh, yeah, all right. So let's go ahead and add a remote event inside of replicated storage. Rename it to Team RE. And then let's go ahead and add a local script inside of starter player scripts. We have a variable which references the team changer buttons and uh, our remote event and our team colors. We have a proximity prompt triggered function. Anytime a player triggers either the blue or red button, then uh, the remote event is going to get fired and our player is going to be either teleported to the position of our blue or red part. Okay, so next up, let's go ahead and add a script inside of server script service. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get the team service and an on server event function where once the remote event is fired from the local script, we're going to go ahead and make sure that the team color of our player is equal to the team color that they chose and decided to be on. Okay, so let's go ahead and test it out. Here are my buttons. I'm going to hold E to join the red team and ta-da, it works. And same thing for the blue part. Full scripts and models will be posted on our website, link in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. As always, have fun creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.